Hey everybody, what's up? It's Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic myself. I'm very excited to be here with you, my favorite peeps out in TV land. I am going to do a great project today, an Easter project, because tis the season. Not Christmas, but Easter. He has risen, so they say. Anyway, I am going to do the snail. I am going to put jelly beans in him. Hey, I know lots of people have been doing the snail. And when I got him, I should have gotten on with it, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do jelly bean snail, and I haven't seen him done yet. I just don't want to seem like I'm copying anybody because I don't want that to be. Maybe, oh my God, there's a good nap. A gnat. <laughs> we always joke and say good nap. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, and I'm going to tell y'all, I was not even thinking I'm such a ding dong sometimes. I went and mixed up my resin, eight ounces of resin, had all my colors out, and was starting to mix them. Hello, I can't pour them all at one time. Duh. So I had to rush and find something else to put it in, which I did. I got that all straight. Okay. Matt is driving me nuts. Go away. You're going to get stuck in some resin. Go away. Go away. Sorry, y'all. It's driving me nuts. It's flying in my face. Okay. First, what I'm going to do down in this little teeny tiny thing down in there. You see that? You see it? I am going to put this purple. And this purple is very special because it's UV resin. That's what's so special about it. So I can cure it instantly and then put my jelly beans in. All right, so here we go. If it'll go. It's not going. Okay, I gotta get it started, evidently. You know, this is thicker than regular resin. Maybe I should put it in a different cup. Come on, baby, give. Give it up. All right, we got a drop. We're getting somewhere now. It's pouring. I'm sorry I can't show you all this. I can get a little closer and not be shy. Yeah, this color is Marisaku Violet from Eye Candy. Almost got this filled, y'all. It's a little tricky to get in this little piece right here. But you want that to be separate. So it looks cool. We like looking cool. Oh my god, the gnat's back. Go away. Okay. I think that's as much as I'm going to get. And that's pretty much in the circle. Yay, I did it. This little bit I'm gonna show y'all. See? See it in there? In that little circle? Yep. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna tilt it back. There we go. One, two, three, four. Aggravating. Okay. Curing it up. Karen. Ready to go. And UV resin is the sh bomb. Okay, I did that side. Now I'm going to do this side. have to do it on both sides because it's not see-through. Transparent. Translucent. Clear. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's feel it. Uh-oh. You know what? 
Oh, it screwed it out. It's not curing. Oh, no. You know why? I think I put too much mica in there. I think I did. I thought about it when I had put it in there to begin with. I said, this is too much mica. It's not curing. Ugh. This has just been a terrible project. Not terrible, but um, tricky. Let's go with tricky. That'll work. Yeah, it's not curing. It's not curing. All right, let me pause y'all. I'm gonna have to do this again. Alrighty, Divey, here I am. Okay, I took the purple out and I put clear in there. See the big bubble? <sighs> it got a big bubble. I think the problem was is I used these cheapo batteries in my piece of crap ultraviolet light. See these cheap ones I got from Amazon? I haven't used them much and they're already dead. Or not strong enough. So, they go in the trash hole up. Alright, now, I have clear to put my jelly beans in. And I have red, I'm going to do his head in. And that's only because I messed up and mixed all this resin up. I got to do something with it. And this is the only part I could put in there that won't overflow into the other part. I hope. Uh-oh. -uh. But it went in there. Oh, shucks. Alright, there's a little red in there with it. That's okay. Alright, I'm going to mix the jelly beans up. I don't know what else to do with that. Maybe it'll turn pink. Who knows? Okay. I was debating whether I should put them in first and then put the resin in, but I know from past experience whenever I do that, something doesn't have resin. I got to get this resin in something. I've been lollygagging, trying to get, well not lollygagging, y'all know I haven't been lollygagging. I've been trying to get this stuff right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... These look really good. I don't think we need any more in there. That is our jelly beans uh, in the snail. Yeah. Just trying to think of what to say there. We got it. We got it. Okay. So our first layer is done. Hopefully that red doesn't screw us too much. Hopefully. Alright. I will be back once our snail part is cured. I'm going to put it on the resin curing plate. Let's hope jelly beans don't melt. Let's see. Oh, I can't touch the thing. Oh, here's a stylus. Hey. Guess who's back? That would be more. Okay. Uh, since I've been gone, the snail has dried. I have picked out something I think I want to go in the rest of the snail. And I've mixed up my resin. Eight ounces. Probably don't need all of that. Um, the glitters I have are, love it, kale, yeah. Then I have a sun, snowy surprise, Walmart brand. Unicorn, oh my goodness, disco, unicorn disco and golden galaxy so i want to use the kale yeah and because uh, like it's on easter grass so that being said makes me think i want to do the white with it so that'll tone it down a little bit all right what do y'all think 
All in favor of white, say aye. I think I heard you. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, the heck with it. I just got this one at Walmart. I thought it was really pretty because it's got the chunky and the fine in it. It's beautiful. Okay. Now, I also want to say something about my resin. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, if they do it. I have a feeling maybe it's kind of what Sherry Moulton does. But I've worn my part A of my resin on my uh, resin curing plate. I put it on there, I, you know, 15, 20. I just put it on there because it's not going to hurt anything. My timer goes up to 30 minutes, so it doesn't go over 30 minutes. I know that. Then I mix it with part B. And then if I'm mixing it and it still seems like it's not thin, then I put it all back on the resin curing plate for five, ten minutes. And it's made it super, super clear. I mean, I see some bubbles in it this time, but I don't know why there are bubbles in here. I do know why. Because instead of stirring it, I should, for the first time, once I put A and B together, after I took A off the resin curing plate, put it in the cup, then, or added B, then added the A, before I even put the first stick in there, I should have put it right on the resin curing plate all together, let it be on there for about five or eight minutes, then take it off and then stir it. I've just been noticing how crystal clear my resin is coming out. It's just awesome. I mean, my resin has always looked good. I'm not going to lie. It's great. But I can notice a big difference as far as how many bubbles I got to go around and pop. It's really, I recommend it. you try it. Just see what I'm talking about. Right, bro. Sorry about that, y'all. Thankfully, I didn't have any resin down here. Hold on. I'll get y'all straight. That scared the snot out of me. How about y'all? <laughs> okay. Thankfully, it didn't spill the resin. Let me just tighten this. Sorry. I'm all up in your business. Okay. There we go. I think you're safe. The little um, clip that holds the phone, the bottom of it, just a teensy weensy piece of it broke off. So it's holding it on there, but the little thing that would hold it, make sure it's not going to come out, it broke off. I need to figure out a way to MacGyver it up there. Okay, so I have my resin, and I have my glitter. I have my gloves, just not on. I have my goggles on, because y'all, I haven't worn them last day. And my eyes, they started getting all red again. When I rub them, they're burning. Not the actual eyeball burning, but the skin burning. It's weird. And it just, I mean, it just all of a sudden happened. Like, really, it just all of a sudden happened. All right, I'm going to pour this over here. I know y'all probably can't see that, sorry. But I like to pour it away from my board if possible. And I'm not pouring it all in here. I might need to add more. But just in case I have too much, then I can use this resin for something else. That. And. That. I love glitter. Glitter makes me happy. So happy, happy, happy. Well, you can't see much of the white. Probably should have figured that. I don't care. I like the green. All right. Here we go. Ooh. So, you know what? I will just put white in. We'll see how much stays on the top. Because it has got that fine glitter in there, so maybe that stays on top. I'm not going to use a new cup, though. I'll just keep this cup and what's there is there. Just to use the whole daggone cup anyway, huh? My original estimate was good.
Oops. Okie doke. Artichoke. It's like way too much. I don't know, y'all. What is wrong with me? I am a silly goober today. Fabulous, darling. Just fabulous. Oh, yeah. You know what? I didn't squeeze down here. Man, I didn't do that before the red shirt up. I bet he's got air bubbles at the top of his tentacles. Is that what you call them? I saw somebody else called him something else. I stop? Or... I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, I didn't do that, so I bet that's going to look real good. I've already had a couple flops here lately. <sighs> Maybe I'm in a, a slump. A resin slump. Quickly and efficiently with your fire. Okay. There he is. I'm gonna find something to do with this. Always another project to do. I am gonna put him on the resin curing plate. I think I can move him because this snail is kind of thick. Let's see if I can do it. Y'all with me? Mm-hmm. I did it. Yay! I did it! Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna put that on. We'll go 45 minutes. Probably doesn't even need that long. Okay, dope. So we'll be back shortly and we'll check out our Jelly Belly snail. Y'all, I can't get this board straight to save my life. It bothers me too. Especially when I review my video and I'm like, crap, it's so crooked. Since I changed my camera from overhead, which I'm assuming is better. I haven't heard anybody else say any different. But where I've got it in the new spot, it's hard to get it level. I mean, because I could actually put a level on it before. This one I can't. I don't know. I'm trying to be as good as I can for you, my friends. Okay, I'll be back. Love talking with you, though. Okie doke. Guess who's back? I'm here. I have our cured little snail, our jelly bean snail. Yep. And um, it's been a while since I've been here, seems like. <laughs> I swear when I'm doing other projects, when I'm doing a project, it gets confusing, especially for me and my brain. But that's okay. I just pick right up, figure out what I can. Ask for forgiveness if I repeat myself or if I've forgotten something. You know. Alright. This is our jelly belly bean snail. Let's check him out. Put in a little bit of alcohol in the silicone mold. Oops, I missed. But this just helps grease this sucker up. So it'll slide out like a wet pig with Vaseline on it. I should say like a watermelon with Vaseline on it. We were in, this is what you do at camp in the country, guys. We were at a pool and I only been there one time. I went with a friend. It was a um, timeshare that they had, her parents had. So I remember the game. I vaguely remember the place, but I do remember trying to get a watermelon that has been slathered up with um, Vaseline and you had to try and get it while you were swimming in the pool and get, it was like football or whatever, get to one end to the other, holding a Vaseline up watermelon. Yeah, pretty crazy. So it was funny from what I can remember, you know, I was young, gosh, I was probably 13, 12, 13, something like that, many years ago. 
<gasps> I had to put this up back here so I could get it out. Sorry. I had to peek at it. Come on, baby. Like having a baby. Pop it on out. <gasps> Yay! Wow. What do you think? Oh, he's so cute. Look at his jelly beans. I like the green, too. And the redhead. Ah, the redhead. How cute is he? He's our jelly belly bean snail. I think he's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so we used Indian Red from Eye Candy with this one. And these jelly beans were, um, I don't know. I don't know. One of the flavors out there, they have so many different now. I remember it used to just be the plain old, you get the yucky black licorice, the green was mint, the yellow was yellow, the orange was orange. You got lucky if you got the red, because that would taste good. The green tasted good unless it, oh yeah, 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 because sometimes in the little spice drops, the green was uh, mint. Yeah. And the red, was that peppermint? I don't know. I don't know, but it's come a long way. That's all, all I'll say. Like everything, it's just come a long way. So anyway, guys, what do you think about my jelly belly bean snail? Any adorable? If you think so, can you give me a thumbs up? I surely appreciate it. And while you're there, if you have it, would you subscribe? It doesn't cost you a thing, but it gives me a whole lot. Believe me, the algorithm is what moves videos on YouTube. So I need some oomph behind my YouTube channel. And you liking and subscribing gives me some oomph. Okay? The algorithm, some oomph for me. So if you think my little snail deserves it, I'd appreciate it. I have some business to go over with. A couple, quite a few things actually. And I don't want to confuse it up. Okay. First things first. You know I have the giveaway that if you like, subscribe, send me a comment telling me that you did like and subscribe, I will in turn send you a number. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to take the number of people that I have and put that in my number generator. So if I right now I have 50 numbers that I've given out, but I have almost 400 subscribers, so not everybody has entered has chosen to enter because if you don't if you don't tell me in a comment that you liked and subscribed I won't know that you did there's nothing on my side that tells me who has subscribed unless you have your own channel then it will tell me that that channel has subscribed but other than that any John Jane Mary Joe I'm not going to know if you don't tell me and I want to give you a number to show you my appreciation for subscribing so Come on, send me a comment, let me know, and I'll send you the number back. Okay, so that is contest number one. Number two, I am doing an honorary name for a donation. Color. Actually, let me rephrase that. Honorary color in your name if you make a $5 PayPal donation or more. Then you'll get an honorary color on my channel. Uh, such as, say, I have Sam made a $5 donation. Her color is going to be number 350 is now Sam, also known as Indian Red. Okay? 350 is the color Sam, also known as Indian Red. Now, I'll get one, 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 one. Uh, one entry. There we go. In I'm introducing this. This is my J-O-Y box. Joy. Yep, today I choose Joy. I just made it in a party. Yeah, I thought it turned out good. I love purple. I love pink more, but I don't have pink pink, so it went purple. Okay, so I have already had, um, four people send me colors or donation for their color. I gotta get this straight. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got to get it straight. 
I'm sorry. I had it straight and then I just confused the heck out of myself. Just one little teeny second is all I need. I just dropped them and when I dropped them, it got them all wonky. So just give me just a little tiny, teeny second. Um, yeah, I'm confused. Okay, I got it. I have four people who already have a color on my channel. So I'm going to put their names in here. Uh-oh. It's stuck. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put their names in there. Anne A. Deirdre. Melody for Ruth. Tiffany H. Okay. Now, that's when you initially, initially get your color on my channel. Then, if I use your color at another time, then you will get your name in there again. I've had one person's color get used again, Tiffany H. So, this is her second entry. There we go. Now, I've got a new, two new people. Rebecca L., She's going in. And Christine F. She's going in. Once they tell me their color preferences, I will let you know their colors. That's the other thing. You tell me a preference of your family color, and I will try and find something that I think you'll like. And you can buy it yourself at home and use it and say, hey, this is my color. I want to see my AMS channel. Yeah, and when I become big and famous, you will already be ahead of the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but that'd be cool, I think, to have, I don't know, I just, I think it'd be cool. Okay, now, that covers that. $5 or more PayPal donation, you get in this. And the prize for this, I had not, oh, wait a minute, did I announce this? No, I didn't. I said there would be a good prize for this. Once I get to at least 15, 15 entries, okay? Because I don't know how long that's gonna take. So I had to say 15 entries because I don't know how many people are gonna want the honorary color and I don't know how many times and the color's gonna come up at another time. So that's why I made this 15. So the prize for this, once I get to 15 entries and I draw one, that winner will get this mold, it's a clock mold. I pulled it up on my on my iPad to show y'all because this is just nothing. That doesn't you can't get an idea from that at all. So let me show you. Oh, there you go. It keeps turning. This one. Isn't that cool? And it's a two pack. So you get that one that's down there. And this one. You get two of them. Okay? So that will be the prize for the joy box. The joy box, once I get to 15 entries, will win the clock. Okay, now, now we have the amazing acorn, yay! I know, sounds cheesy, doesn't it? I, I don't know, I just came up with this idea and I'm hoping it'll work. I am doing a contest with the amazing acorn. Anytime you make a contribution to support the channel, you will get an entry in here. And you can be supportive by several different ways. If you have products at home that you're not using, um, that you'd like to see me use, uh, you just wanna get them out of your way, send them to me. I love hand-me-downs, absolutely love it. Just send me an email asking for my address and I'll send it to you. I would totally appreciate that completely. Um, I also have an Amazon wish list if you'd like to get something off of there. And then I have a PayPal account. If you'd like to buy me a sweet tea, I would love that. And that's all showing support for the channel. And that will get you an entry into the amazing acorn. That being said, I already have two people to go in. That would be Rebecca, uh, Christine F. She goes in, and then Rebecca L. 
she goes in. Now you'll remember I just put them in the joy box because they were smart. Now that I have two contests going on, they entered the one to get into the other. So then they're in two contests. Got it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's a good thing. So let me show you the prize for the amazing acorn. That lid turned on set straight. Oh, there it goes. Okay, here is the prize for the amazing acorn. This is a bath board mold. You know, when you're in the bathtub and people fancy schmancy, want to read their book, have their wine, uh, put some flowers on there, heck, eat breakfast in the bathtub if you want, um, put a little TV up there. I can totally get an eye picture of, because I watched Bones, and the guy that played on Bones, um, he was a trip, but he was in the bathtub and he had a beer helmet on, and he was smoking his cigar, and he had his comics up on his bath board. That's the visual I get. Or, you know, uh, I don't know. Whatever your little heart desires, you can win it and make it and do it. That's all that counts. So that is that. So three different contests. I hope that I have made everything clear. Now, one last thing. On... Oh, shucks. I just made a mess. Okay, on... April 5th, I am going to be doing, oh, let me move this stuff out of the way. Look, y'all, I don't know how to do fancy schmancy stuff on the computer, so this is how I make my signs, okay? Good old-fashioned way. I am doing a collaboration with Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. On April 5th, she and I will be doing a project. Neither one of us knows what each other's doing, and we could do anything we want, the only stipulation, we have to use eye candy pigments only. So anything we want, just use an eye candy pigments. And that's because we are both affiliates of eye candy and love their products and hope that you do too. We both have a link for you to use to get some of those eye candy pigments that we'll be using. Okay. I think that I've given you way too much information. No, I'm just kidding. I've given you a lot of information for you to consider and soak in and take your choice. Pick, take your pick. I've enjoyed being here with you. As always, you've really, really helped me out. Oh, 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 wait. I forgot to tell y'all with the Amazing Acorn. That contest is going, I was going to do it from March 29th to April 29th. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. My son, y'all know, I've mentioned it. He goes to boot camp on um, May 2nd. So I'm I'm already crying myself to sleep, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I know people said the emptiness was hard. But I, I didn't know. I, I really, especially, with the, I just didn't know. <sighs> okay. Anyway, my point is, if we could do... Um, April 5th, from the time of this, and anybody that's made one for March 29th, but I'm going to say from March 29th to May 5th, instead of the one month I'm adding a couple days on that, that's going to allow me to get a couple days straight after I see my son off the boot camp. That's just a little something I need, so I'm sure y'all don't mind. So this is going to end May 5th. That's when the Amazing Acorn contest is over for the bath board, May 5th. Okay. That's it, guys. That is all I wrote for today. I know it's been a lot that I, that I just gave you. I can't tell you thank you enough. I really, really can't. You have no idea how special and how much you add to my life. All of you. And I appreciate you being here. I love working with Resin, and I love doing it with you. And I love you. I mean it. Until next time, see ya.